everyone welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome to my channel my name is Jenna before we get started into today's video please make sure to like and subscribe to become part of my YouTube family so as you see that is the before of my kids bathroom and I decided I really wanted to redo this and I wanted to redo it on a budget so what I mean by a budget and how this is a do-it-yourself under $250. First off, this is not me painting this vanity. This is my mom. If you guys are an older subscriber, you have seen her a couple of times on my channel. But the reason why she's painting my kid's vanity is because this is actually her paint. And this is a pretty expensive paint. She bought it and she bought it for all of her bedroom furniture. And she had a lot left over and I told her how I really wanted to paint the kid's vanity. And so we had the idea to just paint the kid's vanity with that paint because it only needed two coats. So this paint is the type of paint that you don't need to sand anything. The only thing that we did was degloss the cabinets and that is it. This paint is super awesome. It is pretty pricey. I feel like for one gallon it's over a hundred some dollars. Like it is pretty pricey and it has such like a weird texture to it. I end up showing you guys what it looks like but it kind of reminds me of pudding. You know like how paint is super liquidy and this reminds me of pudding. You guys are going to see it where I'm going to show you. So this bathroom was really on a budget because I already had this paint from my mom. Of course she let me use it as you're seeing she's painting it for me because it was a crazy busy day and as you saw in there it said no sanding no stripping nothing and see it looks like pudding it's super weird it's like the paint and primer all in one anyways back to how it's on a budget the walls that I ended up painting this bathroom I already had this gallon of paint because I painted my laundry room the exact same color and I really liked it and I said you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the kids bathroom that color My husband Zach is now taking off all of the doors and the trim, taking off like the little things around the light and he's taking off all of the fixtures. The reason why is because this is how we made this so low cost. We did not get new doors or new trim. What we did in order to be cost effective was we bought white spray paint and we decided to spray paint all of the trim and we decided to spray paint the doors and we also purchased black spray paint for all of the door handles, the hardware, everything. That is how we were able to keep this cost effective and really low because most of the money, as you're gonna hear me mention a couple of times in this video, was spent on the flooring.
Is it just me or does anyone else think that taping everything off takes way longer than actually painting. I swear it takes so long just to tape everything off. And I just want to put a disclaimer, these are my painting clothes. Yes, I have painting clothes because I love painting and I love projects around the house. So I was really excited to be able to do this. Now the paint color that I am using for this it is called Pacific Pearl. Now you may think, well Jenna, that looks white. It is not white, it is white with a hint of gray and blue in it. If you put anything that is white up next to it, you can tell that it is not white. And I absolutely love this. It's just, it's not white, but it gives it just a little bit of a color to it and it looks super good next to the gray vanity that you guys saw my mom paint because it was brown and now it is gray. That is another reason and how we were so cost effective. It was zero cost to us because we already had this paint because I had painted our laundry room when we first moved in back in April this color and it barely used any paint in this gallon. So I was really happy to save money on doing that because I already had the paint and plus I actually love this color and I think it turned out really good and so I'm glad that I went with this color. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again Wrong with them, I don't understand Maybe it will pass by, someone save me For a pass out, I'm too lonely To be done, I'm a drink at this page as I had mentioned earlier, I told you guys that we decided to spray paint the door and all of the hardware. So the doors and the trim were spray painted white. And I believe that Zach had to do two coats on each side of both doors because, you know, the regular door and then the closet door in the bathroom, which isn't too bad. And then we also spray painted the doorknobs and the hardware black and it turned out super nice. I was a little worried about the doorknobs, how they would turn out but they really turned out really nice and that is how we were able to save money instead of buying like a hundred dollar door twice so that's two hundred dollars just in doors and then all of the knobs and the fixtures and hardware we decided to spray paint to save money and I'm so glad that we did. Along with the purchase of the spray paint, the black and white spray paint, we also purchased, I think these are cement tile boards that you lay down because the flooring that we chose was porcelain tile and I'm so glad that we chose it. It was super nice. So as you know, when you go and you purchase flooring like this that needs grout and it also needs like the, the stuff that you put down underneath, I am so not a professional here, but I'm just trying to let you guys know everything that we purchased. So, you know, I mentioned the black spray paint, the white spray paint, the concrete or cement boards, whatever that you lay down when you put tile on top of it and then also the tile, the little things that go in between the tile, the spacers, that is what they are called, and then also also the grout that is everything that we had to purchase for this bathroom and then there's also one more thing that we had to purchase which I will share with you when we get to that point
I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -hmm. I just need to pop in on here just to say that I am so thankful, grateful, and lucky, and I love my husband so much, and I love that he is super handy. There are some things he's like, oh, I don't know if I can do that, and then he'll learn about it, and then I try to learn about it, and we just love doing projects together. We love seeing the before, the after. We love seeing the transformation. We love the journey. We have so much laughs together, and he had a really good time actually recording himself, and he got to learn all about like the YouTube world with all of the different angles and he said oh my gosh I had to keep remembering the camera and moving it and he did really good you guys I'm very impressed by him let me know if you think all of these angles of him doing this if he did a good job because he recorded this all by himself you guys I was with the kids whenever he was up here whenever he was doing any work I was with the kids and then when you just see me that was me and he had the kids. So that is the only way we can really get these projects done with two young kids is, you know, if I have them or he has them. We have to switch on and off. There are times where, like, we're both together and we get to laugh and have fun. But I'm just so proud of him. So when I was editing this footage, I was like, wow, he is such a good husband. He's super handy and he's super supportive with YouTube. So I just want to thank my husband, Zach. He is awesome. And I just love him so much.
So I think I remember Zach saying that he actually ended up having to paint the trim a little bit because it had a gloss to it and it was a little bit harder to spray paint than the doors. So after he spray painted like one or two coats, he did have to go over it and paint. So I just needed to add that in there. And by the way, we always have a gallon of white paint on hand. So that was also free of cost as well. And we of course always have caulk. We always have nails. So all of those little, you know, here and there things we already had, which is super nice because, you know, we love doing projects. So we already had most of those items. last thing that we purchased for this bathroom that was actually pretty pricey was hardware. If you've never purchased hardware before, it can be pretty pricey. I'm pretty sure each of these was four or five dollars a piece, which is pretty <laughs> expensive. And to be honest, I think two of these drawers do not open, but it would, would have looked so silly without having hardware on it. So we decided to just bite the bullet and put hardware on it just for looks. But I love how it turned out. It looks so good. The only bummer I will say about this house is that all of the vanities, we have three bathrooms, so two full baths, one half bath, no hardware on any of them. And then our kitchen, no hardware. So that is going to be pretty expensive every single time we go to purchase it, but it's going to be really nice when it is all done in the long run. So we were able to keep costs down for this bathroom remodel because we already had the paint for the walls we already had the paint for the vanity we did not replace anything besides the flooring that is how we kept this budget friendly under $250 the two most expensive things that we had to purchase was the hardware for the vanity and then of course the tile itself for the flooring and all the little stuff adds up I think we ended up purchasing like eight spray paint cans honestly and then of course all of the hardware, I told you that was like 4 or $5 a piece. We spray painted all of the decor, all of the little hardware pieces. And then I purchased that for the bows. I thought that was just super cute. I just had to get it. And even with that, it made it under $250. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. It just gives it a little bit of an upgrade. It looks super nice, super clean. And now I'm so ready to do my other bathrooms. If you guys already follow me on Instagram, you will see that I actually redid our half bath downstairs and I redid that bathroom for $30, you guys. $30 because I only had to purchase paint at that point for the wall. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please make sure to like and subscribe to become part of my YouTube family and turn on the bell so you can receive notifications. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I've never really been the one who's worried. Always been the one who's keeping it cool The kind of guy who chill while others hurry I didn't know that I've been the fool